Well, you knew I was going to try this one when I heard it opened about a week ago. I am in Stockholm, New Jersey. And here is the Wrestling Collector, the Pro Wrestling Superstore. It's owned by the same man who did the 80s conventions that were held in I Play America. And hopefully we get on the page enough to be able to have those. But in the meantime, got a free Sunday afternoon, so I thought I'd drive up and check this out for a while. We start out with a nice little collage of paintings and artwork. Why does King Kong Bundy look like he's wearing makeup? He looked like he had clown makeup from the distance. Not so much now. There's the winged eagle belt that I did not win in the giveaway for the show. <laughs> <laughs> and on the other end of things we got the NWA WCW title Got some books here. Okay. Oh yeah. Totally getting this one. And now we have a little bit behind the scenes. Another title. You want it, you want it, sir? Yeah. Hey, what's up? You know why? Because uh, I drop these every day. A little more behind the scenes. Superstars of wrestling. And 
take the thinking man's roster now. From that position, on occasion, you'll see him go into the short arm. But now, oh, yeah. I mean, geez, I see pictures there. Yeah, come on. Being the strongest force in the universe, but it means that new generation of little hulks that are trans. I think I was at this show when this match happened. They're going to be the leaders, man. This was my first show at Madison Square Garden. So today I settled for the magazine that might have a article coming from the show I first went to back in December of 86 at the Madison Square Garden. And of course you just know I just had to have this. Pretty good day, pretty interesting look through. And that's going to do it for my little adventure. Hope we get to do one again soon.